All right, try to put this thing together. I wasn't able to find any um, written directions. There was a um, video that I found <clears throat> in RC Groups, but the um, resolution was so low that I couldn't really see what was going on. So I'll take a shot at doing this thing and hopefully we won't make too many mistakes on the way through. So start off uh, putting the arms on this baby. <clears throat> so this is the uh, bottom landing gear goes on these things here. So uh, first thing they want you to do is take out the screws. All right, now with these arms, you want to make sure that the <clears throat> arms are on the bottom and the mount is on the top. Just stick them in there. Okay, you want to make sure these washers go back on here. Now the question is, should I use some um, Loctite? But these are self-locking self nuts on here, so I'm going to take a pass on the Loctite for these. I don't think I need it. Plus the, uh, the nylon in the, in the um, nut will probably not be affected positively by the by the Loctite so we'll just tighten these babies down they should be fine with those self-locking nuts so we'll just repeat that for all all four of the um, of the arms. Okay, I thought it would save you the hassle of watching me put all these things on since put on one of them, you might as well put on all of them. All right, next we'll go ahead and put on the landing gear. Um, here's the gear. And it looks like it's pretty straightforward here. <clears throat> just think we tighten these babies down and go from there but let's see or too well Inside of this package that comes with the um, quad, you'll find four of these uh, reinforcement pieces which go on to the landing gear this way here. Whoops, like this. <clears throat> landing gear reinforcement pieces went on here, and how you have to remove these one, two, three, four, five uh, bolts on either side in order to get that on there. Okay, when you're putting these, uh, these brackets on, you may want to leave everything real loose until the brackets are actually all the way on there and you got all your screws started. And the reason for that is I found that 
some of these things don't line up that great with this new bracket and um, you need to uh, just leave everything loose so you can move things around a little bit so you don't strip anything out here <clears throat> now this is a little bit hard here for these let me see if I can pop the bottom one in a little bit further and see if it snaps in None of these things can I line up straight, so I really got to be careful I don't end up stripping any of these heads. Oops, I guess I'm blocking the camera a little bit there. And just tighten up this other side. should be good to go. Okay, on to the next part.